I like the Coliseum pool because it's a really strong pool. It's sturdy. We have all boys, and they get a little rough in their play. Their friends enjoy getting rough in it, and, and the Coliseum pool can handle it. It's been a sturdy pool for us. The first day that my husband called Little Pools and Spas to get some preliminary information, the gentleman asked if he could come out that night and give us more information to price it and to look over the area we were interested in putting it in. And we knew we wanted that kind of service, that if we called, that they would be there immediately to help take care of things. And, and they have been. Hi, my name is Jim Spies. I'm one of three owners of River Pools and Spas. We'd like to thank you today for ordering this tape. And what we want to do is attempt to show you one of the most beautiful, unique, amazing pools that you'll ever see. This pool is the strongest pool that you'll ever see. It's a roto-mold resin pool. This pool is not a blow-mold resin. It does not have any seams and will hold up to all types of weather and all types of abuse. This pool has a lifetime warranty on its structure. Its wall has a 20-year warranty and the liner has a 20-year warranty. We use all upgrade materials on all of our spas. But before I do that, what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about our company. The way the company was formed was by two people. That person was Jason and myself. What happened was I had a custom home building business and I hired Jason to come work for me in the off season. Jason put in pools during the summer. Jason was a good worker and I wanted to keep him on in my custom home building business. I offered him quite a bit of money to stay with me, but he said money wasn't the issue. He loved doing pools and that's what he was gonna do. So I couldn't keep him for the summer. Jason said if he had help, he'd start his own business. Well, I thought if I couldn't keep them, I'd join them. So we went ahead and started this business. Basically, Jason and I started out of the back of a pickup truck. We immediately fell in love with the Coliseum pool when we were in Atlantic City and saw the pool displayed. It started selling five to one over all of our other pools. It was a great pool and we realized that the general public loved it. The nice thing about the Coliseum pool is that it really sets the yard off. It doesn't look like your typical above ground pool. This pool is gracious and elegant looking. It, it ages very well. One of the things that you'll find with above ground pools and why people don't like above ground pools is because they look like an above ground pool. They, they rust very easily. They show they fade very easily. They're just pools that after two, three years look like they've been there for 10 or 15 years. The Coliseum pool on the other hand, after it's been up for three years, it looks like the day it was put up. Beautiful looking. It holds us, it doesn't fade. It holds its looks, it's very elegant, it's very durable, very strong, weathers well, has a lifetime warranty on the structure, which is fantastic, and that's an unlimited warranty. There's nothing that you can do to hurt that structure. Next thing I'd like to let you know is how we acquired Mark as our third partner. The way Mark came into the company was, we hired him on as part-time just to get him through his college as, as he was finishing up college and waiting for a job as a teacher. We realized that Mark was a very big asset to the company. Mark had a very hard drive, good, good work ethic, and was very customer oriented. That's the kind of people that we were looking for. Jason and I strive for customer orientation. We really think hard about our customers and we realized that Mark was very concerned for the customers also. Mark studied up a lot on pools. He studied up a lot on spas too. We realized the only way to keep Mark was to make him part owner. So we offered him a piece of the company and that's how we acquired our third person in this company. And as you will see, the three partners in this company work very hard on customer service. We strive to make sure that our customers are happy, and we strive to make sure that we carry the very best products. Like I said, I'd like to show you some of the features of this pool. One of the things is how durable this pool is. What I always tell people when they come into the store, I challenge them to go ahead and go to our competitions and see if they can beat on their pool and how to hold up. We can really hit this pool, and as you can see, I'll break the bat before I break the pool because this pool is made very durable. You just can't hurt this pool. When the kids are running around with the go-kart, they run into it, you're good to go. If they run into it with the lawnmower, you're good to go. But if the pool can take this kind of beating, you don't have to worry about if a tree happens to hit it, what it'll do. The other thing you don't have to worry about is high wind. The other thing you don't have to worry about is weathering. This pool has been through a couple winters, and last year's winter being the most severe winter on record, and you can see the pool is just as beautiful as the day it was put up. You can also see that I haven't scarred it by hitting it. One of the most important features on a pool is the track. As you can see, this is a PVC track. Most pools, they're metal tracks. The problem with the metal track, the first thing that's gonna rust is gonna be the track. So you do not want a metal track. This is what's gonna go first. This is what's holding your wall in place. 
So it's a very important structural feature of the pool. Whenever we do liner replacements, one of the first things that we find is that the track is rusted out. If the track's rusted out, then basically your pool's going to end up being replaced anyway because the wall is probably going to be rusted along with it. If you replace a wall and you can leave the track, it saves you a lot in labor. Another feature that we do with these pools is that you'll notice that we put a cinder block, cinder block patio block under each one of these posts. Any pool company that does not do this is compromising the integrity of the pool. And of course, you can take and put your stone back to enhance the look of the pool. Another nice feature of the Coliseum pool is these rails that you can add to it. These rails right here are also a rotomold mold resin rail. The rails can't be put on any other pool, and no other pool has a rail that's as durable or as nice looking as these. As you can see, you can beat on these rails and you will not hurt them. And again, there is no scarring. Again, you're not hurting the rails at all. And I'm not afraid to beat on my pool. This is my pool in my backyard, and I love to beat on it just to show people how strong it is. Let me introduce you to Mark, one of our partners, and he'll introduce you to some of our new 2004 features that we have for our pools. What I'm here to talk to you about is two new innovations for the Coliseum pool for 2004. And the first one here is called, well, we call it the resin riser. And what this does, it is an optional replacement for the bottom track of the pool. Now, earlier, Jim mentioned the bottom track of the pool is this resin strip. It's about a quarter of an inch thick, and that's what your wall slides into. Typically, that's in the ground. Well, with the resin riser, this will actually raise the pool up so it's actually 56 inches high, and the pool water itself, itself has a depth of 52 inches. So it's the deepest above-ground pool on the market. But the other advantage of this is the fact that if you look on the back here, the wall actually slides into this back slit. Now, that will take it two inches out of the ground itself. Now, without having the wall in the ground, you don't have to worry about the moisture that's in the ground, and therefore you don't have to worry about that friction and that potential oxidation or rust that you can have over time in the bottom of the wall. Because that's usually where rust starts in a pool's wall, is where the ground and the wall meet. With the riser, you do not have to worry about that problem. It's going to actually take it out. Also, if you ever have to do any landscaping around the pool, let's say you have to take a weed whacker and go around and kill the grass. Well, now, instead of clipping the wall, you can actually go along the riser. And this stuff is invincible. You could actually run over this with your car. So it's very, very strong. The final advantage of the resin riser is the fact that it just makes your pool look beautiful. It really crowns the pool. You've got the beautiful top rail, and then you put the riser, which is a nice, beautiful feature on the bottom. And together, it is unlike any other above-ground pool on the market. Our customers really love this, and I know you're going to love this feature, too, as you see how it really highlights the pool itself. Now, the second innovation for 2004 is what we call the perfect pool bottom. Now, this is a polymer sheet, and I know you can't really appreciate it by looking at it. Very thick, very durable. Now, what's this used for? Well, let's pretend that you have a 24-foot diameter swimming pool. All right, Say this is 24 feet. Well, this actually fits beneath the liner, between the liner and the sand. Now, this has three main advantages. First of all, the perfect pool bottom potentially, well, it actually eliminates any vegetation. There is a weed called nutgrass, okay? And nutgrass is very thick and durable. And what it can do, it can actually grow up, let's pretend this is the bottom of your pool here. It can actually grow up and goes through the sand. It can eventually puncture a hole in your liner, which causes you to replace your liner. Well, with the perfect pool bottom, you don't have to worry about that. You'll never have to replace your liner because of vegetation growing through it. This has a lifetime warranty. This will actually probably outlast the pool itself. It's very, very strong. So it eliminates any vegetation growing up through your liner. The second advantage is the fact that whenever you do an above-ground pool, you actually have to use a bed of sand beneath the liner. Now, sand always has rocks and pebbles in it. And what happens over time is the weight of the water in the pool will cause those pebbles and those rocks to slowly move up, separating themselves from the sand. And you can start to feel those pebbles and rocks as you walk along the pool's bottom. All right? Now, it doesn't feel very good. 
And we've had customers say, gee, this, I just feel these rocks on my feet. I'm worried it's going to puncture a hole in my liner. Doesn't feel good. Well, with the addition of the perfect pool bottom, you don't have to worry about those rocks. You don't feel them on your feet, and they will not puncture the liner. So that's your second advantage. So you've got eliminates vegetation and also eliminates those rocks that can grow up through the sand. Now the third advantage is the fact that this can potentially eliminate or lessen any potential divots that you get in your pool's bottom from animals like moles or voles or any other rodent. See, this is how it works. All right, Pretend again that this is the floor of the pool. Now, you'll have this little animal come and, and, and dig underneath the pool. Let's say it's a, a mole or a vole, and it'll come up to the bottom of the pool's liner, and then it'll leave. And what will happen, a little sinkhole will form in the bottom. almost looks like a little crater. And so as you look at the bottom of the pool, when you're standing over it, you can see all these little sinkholes. And it, aesthetically, it doesn't look very nice. And we had customers complain about this. And so we said to ourselves, well, what can we do about it? Again, the perfect pool bottom was the answer. It's on the bottom of the pool. It displaces the weight of the water. And so if you do have a rodent that comes up through, instead of having such a strong divot, you really have a very light divot. Okay, So it greatly lessens any potential divots that you have. This is a wonderful feature to the pools. We've had people, second time buyers, see this and immediately they said, I want the Coliseum pool because you have the perfect pool bottom. I wouldn't get a pool without it. You're going to love this feature in your pool and it's going to cause your pool to last longer. What I'd like to do is show you our filter systems that we use. We use a Pentair Pack Fab filter system. And if you'll notice that the filter is not a plastic filter like you'll find on most pool companies. Most pool companies like to go with a very inexpensive or cheap filter. They like to use the blow mold plastic. What we use is a fiberglass filter. What we use is a six-way multi-port valve. That would take you to waste, to close, to backwash, to recirculate, and to rinse. Those are the different those are the different settings that you have. The next thing that you have is a valve that is located on your skimmer. The purpose of that is to shut this off, then to put your six-way valve into the closed position, then to take and clean your strainer pot out, and that way you do not have water that is pouring out of there from the pool or from the filter. You go ahead and you clean your strainer, put the strainer back in. You don't have to rush to do this, like most pools, because you've got it all shut off. You'll take and you'll open this back up, and then you'll go over here and put this back into the filter position. And now you're back ready to run again. What you don't want to do is have to plug and unplug the filter. Whenever you're plugging and unplugging a filter, you're causing sparks to fly from the plug. It's also, not only is it dangerous, it's hard on the pump. Nice thing about the Dynamo pump is it has a switch that you can turn on and off. Whenever you're going to service your filter, such as backwashing, you'll need to turn the pump off. When you have the pump running, you want to backwash, you need to turn the pump off. You'll take and put your multiport valve into the backwash position. You'll stretch out your backwash hose. And you turn your pump on. When you're done running the backwash, you'll then go to rinse, so you have to turn it off again. You'll come over to rinse and you'll turn your pump back on. These are things you want to do without plugging and unplugging the system. You'll turn it back off. You'll put it back into the filter position and turn your pump back on, and you're back in business. There's a lot of things that you can do with an above ground pool. As you can see with my pool, we've added a deck to it. it makes a very good complement to the pool. And of course, you can look at the beautiful rail that we have out here that you can put all the way around the pool. You can put three quarters of the way around the pool, halfway around the pool. It adds a little bit to the privacy. It adds to the looks of the pool. And also, when wind storms come up, thunderstorms, the floats don't blow out of the pool. The kids aren't tossing the ball out of the pool when they're playing ball or playing volleyball. So therefore, they're not getting in and out of the pool and creating messes by getting dirt on their feet and tracking it into the pool, which kids are going to be known to do, especially when they, they play ball in the pool. It's definitely going to get thrown out of the pool. 
This way when they throw it out, I know they're throwing it out intentionally so they can get out of the pool and aggravate me. Our pools come with a ladder that's an upgrade ladder. This ladder is a ladder that we searched high and low for. We've been offered other ladders and other companies have attempted to get us to buy their ladder, but they're nowhere near made as well as this ladder here is. And again, everything that we put on our pools are upgrade items. A lot of people think that pools have a lot of upkeep and a lot of maintenance. You're going to spend four or five hours a day taking care of the pool. You got to vacuum the pool every day. You're always putting chemicals in the pool. But what you'll find out is different chemicals do different things. We usually like to recommend using Baquasil because Baquasil is something that you put in once a week. Another thing that we recommend with our pools is an automatic vacuum. An automatic vacuum vacuums the pool itself. Basically, what I spend on my pool, and this pool is 21,500 gallons, I spend about 20 minutes a week taking care of this pool. Probably about five minutes a week I use skimming the pool, and about five minutes a week vacuuming the pool, maybe a couple minutes of testing the pool water, and then a couple minutes that I take and I put chemicals into the pool. Let me show you how easy it is to use an automatic vacuum and how easy it is to take care of your pool and vacuum it. Let me just show you exactly how easy it is to put your vacuum in the pool and how long it takes. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to time this. So if we give it a couple seconds, we'll get this right on the mark, and we'll go ahead and we'll put it in. Just going to put your first hose on. You'll hold her into the water just for a few seconds until it fills up. As you can see, every time I put a hose in, I let the hose fill up with water. So far, I've been a minute. I just wish they had this when I was a kid. And it's hooked up. One and a half minutes. We'll give it a few seconds to bleed some of the air out of the line, and then the ladybug will start to work and she'll do the vacuuming for me, which means more swim time for you and less maintenance. Now what I'd like to do is just show you exactly how easy it is to take the ladybug out of the pool. But before I do that, I want to tell you one thing. When I come home on a Friday evening from work, I take the ladybug and spend a minute and a half to two minutes to put the ladybug into the pool. And my wife and I go out to dinner, and when I get home later on Friday evening, if I feel like taking the ladybug out, I do. If I don't feel like taking her out, I'll wait till morning. Then I'll take her out before I head to work in the morning. It takes me less than a minute to take it out. That's what I'm going to do now, show you just how quick it is to take her out. Right now, if we start... Just take each section and undo them. That's all there is to it. It would be really nice if I could train my wife to do this, and then it'd be even less than a minute for me. Matter of fact, I wouldn't have to mess with it at all. But I think she leaves this pretty much up to me. I'm gonna have a pretty tight schedule, I'm pretty busy, but I can afford 20 minutes out of the week to work on the pool. Another nice feature that you can get with the Coliseum pool as an upgrade is a fountain. The fountain is a beautiful feature to have on here. It puts off a nice, soothing, relaxing sound, along with emitting a huge spray of water. It's nice for when you're floating around the pool and you don't want to get out of the pool, out of your float to get into the pool. You can just aim for the fountain and go underneath the fountain. Let me show you how the fountain works. 
Basically, I have a switch right over here. Now I just cut that on, and there's your fountain. A beautiful added feature. One of the things I'd like to point out is, look at the jets that are shooting down into the water. They're hitting down with a lot of force, gives it a waterfall effect for a lot of relaxation. The other thing you can actually do is you can swim up underneath those jets and put your neck up under, underneath of them, and it almost feels like jets pulsating from a hot tub. It's a very relaxing sound with the fountain hitting the water. When you get into your float, the only danger you have is falling asleep because it's so relaxing. One of the great advantages of having a pool in your backyard is not only does it mean that you get to keep your family closer together and spend more quality time with them, but you get to know your kids' friends better too. This is my son, Danny. He's 11 years old. This is his friend, Tyler, who is 8 years old, and Curtis, who's 10 years old. The nice thing is I get to know where Danny's at at all times, and I know where his friends are at. They're usually over here having a good time in our pool. That old commercial that used to come on is 10 o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? Well, I know where my kids are all the time. And I know where our friends are, too. That's one of the great things about having this pool in our backyard. Well, I guess I don't know my kids' friends as well as I thought I knew them. I guess if you're going to get your kids' friends over here, you get to, you got to get to know that they're not going to shove you in a pool, especially while you're trying to do something like what we're doing right now. But as hot as it was today, and I'm sure you can see how hot it was by the way I was sweating, it was definitely worth being shoved in the pool. Enjoyable too. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is go change into a bathing suit and spend some time with the kids in the pool.